Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very short video actually. It's going to be on uh, pronunciation and more particularly on how to go about developing a good, decent, even maybe, maybe even a native-like pronunciation um, with time in any language that you decide to take on. Um, and so first I would like to acknowledge that there are basically two um, aspects as far as, you know, um, developing a good pronunciation throughout the entire process of learning languages is concerned. And the first aspect, as you guys know, and it's the most common one, right? It's the analytical aspect. And by analytical, I mean, um, you know, when you break down the language in order to understand, to learn how um, words uh, are pronounced, how sounds are produced, and so on and so forth. So it's like learning, um, you know, that a combination of, of, of uh, vowels or of consonants uh, produces a single, a very particular sound in one language. And it can differ in another language, right? Uh, like the same letter can, can be um, uh, pronounced differently, right? It, 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 it corresponds to another sound in a different language. Like, for instance, if you take the letter K in English, it has only one sound, which is K, the K sound. If you take K in Swedish, it has two sounds. It has the K sound and the SH sound, right? Like in the word for um, to drive, which is atschöra, and it's written K-O umlaut, R-A. And so really, guys, this is the analytical approach. I mean, it's everything related to, you know, um, knowing how words are, are pronounced, sounds are produced, diphthongs, intonation, and so on and so forth. So it's dealing with the language per se. But the other aspect, which I think is the most important one, it's the psychological aspect. And I think that really the psychological aspect or the psychological approach, it counts, it counts for uh, uh, to eight, uh, 70 to 80% in your success in getting a uh, spot on pronunciation, in my opinion. Um, and what I mean by psychological approach, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's um, how you visualize yourself when you speak the language, a certain language, and visualization is really important. And what I mean by visualization is basically imagining yourself as if you were a native speaker of that language. And it really helps um, in that matter because when you imagine yourself as if you were a native speaker, um, then a, sh a certain shift in your personality happens, takes place, right? So before I stood up in front of the camera, I imagined myself um, in New, uh, uh, I imagine myself um, coming from New York. I was a regular guy coming from New York that has this American accent, right? And so a slight shift happened when I, when I, when I simply imagine myself. So it's a very simple um, shift that happens, right? And this shift, this shift of, uh, this shift of, of um, I would say, of in, in, in your personality will affect, um, uh, first and foremost, your body language, your attitude, uh, and 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 trust me, the words are gonna. And when, once you go ahead and and, and you know um, and uh, enter a conversation, right? Um, the words are gonna come out most of the time very naturally. You're not gonna even think about it about how you're pronouncing the words. It's gonna come all naturally, and it really helps. I mean, it's not all about analytical approach, right, guys? Uh, I mean, yeah, when you start off, when you first start off with a language, it's really important to know how things are pronounced, how uh, sounds are produced. But I think that psychology is the most important thing. And in general, it's the most important thing when you learn a language um, as a whole. And so really um, what psychology is, is that it gives you um, a very broad vision uh, on the language that you're learning, right? So yeah, guys, try to focus 20% on analytical, um, on the analytical aspect of the language, and then the other 70 to 80% is is merely um, psychological. I mean, it's 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 the mindset. It, it's how you build uh, your mindset around it, right? And so yeah, so uh, that's basically it, guys. And yeah, when when you switch languages, uh, like I said, if I were to speak, for instance, if I were to switch to Spanish right now. The entire attitude is going to change. The entire, you know, um, how I engage my facial, my facial muscles, how I, um, you know, the body language, how I speak out the words. Like for instance, in English, um, it's basically you, you produce. It's na a bit nasal, you know. It's it's like you pro produce the words in your nose, um, anywhere um, around your nose and your mouth. And then in Swedish, it's it's totally, you know, glottal. 
And then in French, you speak from, uh, you know, uh, you use a lot of your teeth and your tongue at the same time. And so I think that, yeah, a certain shift is going to happen, that's for sure, but it's going to help you loads to, um, you know, to, to make your pronunciation, uh, you know, skyrocket in that sense. So yeah, that was the video, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope it was a bit useful for you guys. Thanks a lot and have a great day.